Welcome back to Ayaz Tech channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to host your website for free on Heroku. This is very easy tutorial and anybody can follow this tutorial. So uh, this is uh, anybody who has very less technical knowledge can also follow this tutorial. So this is the website that I am interested. Uh, I am interested to deploy our host on the Heroku website, Heroku hosting. And uh, it is totally free. You will never have to pay anything to host your website to the Heroku. It is free, unlimited free, and no need to pay anything. So first I am, this is a free template that is available online. I'm just going to click on the free download. Okay, I'm going to unzip it. And now I will open it in the VS code for that. I am going to open it in the terminal and type code space dot. All right. Uh, it is that project is now open in the terminal uh, in the VS code. Now, next thing is that first of all, you must have to have a GitHub account. And next, you also need to create a GitHub repository for your project. And the third step is you need to uh, create an account at Heroku. So let's, let's start from the first step that is create a repository on the GitHub. I am going to click on the new repository and type Heroku hosting uh, you can type any name whatever you want I am just writing this uh, just to show you a demo so you can select anything public or private it ups it's totally up to you so now click on the create repository and uh, after that go back to your project and open the terminal and type git space uh, in it to initialize the git in this project now this <coughs> git has been initialized initialized in this project next you need to add all of the changes in the into the staging area for that type git add dot and now git commit minus m type the commit message my changes and i'm going to commit it okay it is uh, now uh, committed now i need to add my remote origin of this github for that type uh, copy this url and go back to the terminal and type git remote add origin and paste the url that you copied from the github repository and press enter now you need to type git push origin master to push your changes to the remote github repository now press enter and wait for a while all right the changes has been deployed to the github now i am going to reload it and see what happens uh, okay my changes are here Next, next, let's go to the Heroku. And in the Heroku, let's uh, create an account by clicking on the sign up button. But before that, let's take a quick look on the supported languages that you can deploy. So you can deploy a Node.js project, you can deploy a Ruby project, Java, PHP, Python, Go, Scala, and Clojure. But it is not saying anything about the HTML websites. In this demo, I am going to show you how to host your static HTML website. But HTML is not listed in this uh, area. So there is a very easy hack that you can use to still upload and host your website to the Heroku. So I will show you how. First of all, let's create an account. Click on the sign up button.
um, and here you have to fill all of this uh, this form for example ir proper ir proper public at gmail.com and type the company name test uh, you can type anything it is optional and in the role you can select your role if you are student click on the student if you are developer or hobbyist or technology manager click uh, anywhere i'm going to select student and you can select your country and then select your language that you are mostly going to use in your projects i'm going to use i know i am uh, going to show you how to host a uh, uh host a html project but uh, i will select php for now you can also select if you don't want to use these languages you can click i use another language okay yeah i guess this is the right option that uh, you don't you want to host html and uh, html is not listed so that is why you can select i use another language okay now click on the I am not robot and you have to prove that you are not a robot so <laughs> that's funny so find all of the parking meters and select them like this and after all are selected click on the verify to prove that you are not a robot you are a human okay the account has been created now uh, Hiroku sent me an email to my email account to confirm this account so I'm going to confirm this account open the Gmail okay this is the one second mm. yeah I just received that, that email just click on this email uh, this link to confirm your account and close the gmail now wait for a while it is confirming your account okay now you need to set up your password you can set up any password whatever you want uh, but you have to fulfill these requirements to create a password so let's me let me try to type some difficult password okay now press this button to save your password and login click here to proceed you can save your password if you want okay so here you have to accept their terms and conditions before using this their services click on the accept button okay now this is your dashboard in the heroku this and you have to create a new app by clicking on the new app button here type the name um i will just you can type anything i'm typing testing you can select the region actually testing by ios okay this name should be unique so that is why i added a strange string so here you can select the region where you want to upload your project and click on the create app okay now your project has been created at this page in the deployment methods area click on the github section and click on the connect to github button it will connect your github account with this heroku and you will give you will authorize heroku to use your github repositories okay i'm going to click on this button now uh, here i'm going to authorize heroku by clicking on this button okay now I have authorized Heroku to use my GitHub account and now it is showing me all of my organizations uh, sources that I have on my account 
and here you have to type the name so let's type something Heroku and search it will search from the github repository list and it will give you suggestions below so this is the repository that we created earlier i am going to connect that repository with this heroku so click on the connect button and wait for a minute okay next you should click on the enable automatic deploys and the reason is that it is very very convenient uh, feature so whenever you commit your changes and whenever you push it to the github uh, heroku will know it automatically and he uh, heroku will deploy all of your changes instantly to a live url for you you will not have to come here every time you push your changes and uh, deploy manually it will be it would be done automatically so for that yeah, you should click on the enable automatic deploys now uh, you have a button open app let's open that and see what happens okay i cannot see my website yet uh, the reason is that uh, it will automatically deploy your website when you will uh, push your changes but we enable the deployments after we have pushed our changes so as we just enable the automatic deploys we have to commit again and push it again but we will do that in next step but for now let's uh, deploy it manually yes you can deploy manually as well if you don't want to enable automatic deploys so here you can see a deploy branch uh, you have to select the branch that you want to deploy to that live URL. Click on the deploy branch and wait for a while. Uh, you can go to the activity tab for a, for that time duration and see something has happened. Okay, I know the reason. Because my project is built in the HTML, but uh, Heroku does not support, support HTML websites. Heroku support uh, other languages including the PHP. So how to solve that problem? To solve that problem, you have to convert your project in the PHP. But don't worry, you don't have to convert it. Uh, you just have to create a little new file with the name index.php. And here, you have to type a single line of code that will do all of the job by itself. So type the PHP tag, type include once and here you need to provide the path of your HTML file. So let's do that. Type index.html. Okay. Uh, okay. Now that's all you need to do. Now please uh, commit your changes and push it and wait for it to be deployed to the Heroku. Type git add to add the changes to the staging area. Type the git commit to commit your changes. Mm, added index.php file. And now you are ready to push it. Let's do it. Type git push origin master. All right, uh, it has been pushed. Now look at this, watch this area. You will see something in real time. It will show a new process that will be started here. Yeah, did you see? It is saying the build is in progress. It automatically detected that you have pushed your changes to the GitHub and it is now deploying your changes to a live URL. This time it did not fail and it is saying build was succeeded and it has been deployed. So now if you click on the open app, you will see your exact app. Let's see. It's not that easy. It is very easy. You can see it has been deployed successfully. It is very convenient. So from now on, you don't need to open the Heroku again. You just make your changes in the GitHub uh, in your project and push it. And every time you push it, it will be deployed uh, here automatically without uh, having you to do anything something 
so let's try that actually uh, uh, another thing that i really like is that it is uh, this your website is uh, on uh, secure url https you can see in the url it, it is https you don't need to install any uh, ssl certificate you already got ssl certificate for free along with your website you can see your connection is secure so this is very cool next we have to test that if uh, we make any change and commit it and push it uh, would it deploy it automatically or not let's try that go to the index.html and uh, let's change the logo at this time it is saying that start bootstrap i'm going to change it and type ayaz tech and let's commit it again uh, change the logo commit it this is another way to commit if you earlier i committed from the terminal but you can also if you are using vs code you can uh, commit it very easily from this ui as well just type your committed here and uh, stage your changes like this and now click on the commit icon and now you should click on this upload button this will upload uh, this will publish to the github now it is published wait here and watch for the change for the new deployment process yeah you can see a new build process has started and now it is deployed now we should see our changes here let's reload it and see if my changes are appeared or not yet uh, maybe it is hard 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 code uh, maybe it is cached let me hard reload it for that is ins open inspect element and uh, press and hold your reload button and then it will show you multiple options let's try that hmm. mm. it is still saying the star actually yeah sorry i did not change the logo i change i change something else i change a heading on my banner you can now read it is saying a yaz tag this was a text that i added i added earlier let's add another change in the header area to change the logo as well so this is the logo save it and commit it again change press the tick button yes and click on this arrow to push it to the github and uh, observe this area watch for the new deployment process and wait for it to be deployed okay it has been deployed successfully now let's reload it and see what happened there you can see that logo has been updated successfully so you can see this is totally automated process you don't need to touch anything you don't need to go back to the heroku again you this is just one time setup once that is done just keep working on your projects just uh, invent new things in your projects and uh, build amazing things and keep pushing and it will uh, will be updated every time you push your changes so i hope you liked this uh, amazing trick and uh, i hope this video is useful for you so if if you like my video then please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any notification from my channels and uh, also don't like to like share and comment on my video thank you for watching my video i hope to see you again in next videos keep watching bye